Um, today we had a customer talk about a automatic radiator going into his manual E46. Well, a lot of people say it's not doable. However, all you really need to do is fill up the hole for the automatic trans cooler right here and over here with some epoxy, some you know glue, something to seal it up. And the other main difference right here is the drain cock. If you have a manual one, there's no threading. If you have automatic, there will be regular threads. So, basically all you need to do, manual or automatic, it's always going to have this hole right here. You connect this piece here. Fill it up with glue overnight, wait for it to dry, and you have a perfect seal. Make sure you put well more than enough. Mm, what about this one here? Oh, you're going to need to cap this off. You have to get the hose. Get it real quick. While he's getting that, uh, the manual, as you mentioned earlier, this automatic, so it's a short. The the manual one has a similar one, however, it's not a screw on. It doesn't have the threads, and it's longer. So when you put it in, I think it's just a twist on. It goes like this, and it covers pretty. It covers this this opening. Okay. All right, so what it that's really comes a hose, to, right? One yeah, of the hoses that this is one of the cooling hoses from the heater side that connect to the bottom right here. So what you would do on your manual is you would connect the hose, but capped off. Obviously, this isn't a professional cap off. There, you could get whatever you want. Go to Lowe's, get an actual thing to cap it off, or just get a big ass screw. All right, so putting it back together now. The screws. All go in the same place. You're gonna put the cap back in so you don't leak. And one more time reviewing it. This hose here. They capped. This one, if I was actually doing this, would be full of epoxy, wood glue, something hard. Also make sure it dries overnight. Don't put it back together when the glue is wet. Okay, so there's one option here. However, what if they have their manual bracket? This, explain to them what happens here. They can slide this off. What you can do here is, ready? Yeah, go ahead, I'm recording. All right. What you can do here is you can slide the bracket that goes to the side right here on your expansion tank out. You transfer it with a manual one. Press on it, it slides out. This okay. tab right here, you can see it through that little window. Okay, so then you take it from your manual and put your manual bracket right here. Right there. And then you don't have to do this. Cap you this. Skip the step. You will skip this step. You would just have to ca uh, seal these holes. Seal this hole right here. Just one. Just one. Correct. Correct. All right. Sounds good. And and again, this is just for some like an emergency purpose. I know most people. I mean, what racing or racers? Yeah, if you, you know. race or if you like don't have money and you're broke like me, this is how I did it. Yeah, this is just something you know to get you up and running quick. Uh, it's not you know something in the long term. Most of the time, these radiators are going to run you about what, any upwards of two hundred bucks. Yeah, somewhere around two or three. So, uh, and I know the uh, manuals are hard a little find. bit hard to find. Automatics are plentiful, so that's one step you could you can take. Uh, as always, do it on your own at your own risk. This is just the information that we like to share to you. If you like to use it, great. If not, hey, just buy yourself a new radiator and you know proceed with that. If you have any questions, comments, let us know. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.